And that's why, for the last few weeks, I have been absolutely addicted to Hades. This is by far the best roguelike game I have ever played. Due to its incredible ability to tell a cohesive, engaging story throughout multiple dungeon attempts, its gorgeous hand-drawn art style that positively pops with life, color, and detail, and of course... <laughs> Today, I have something special for you guys. I know I've made videos in the past about how I'm addicted to Switch games, but this time, I've really found one that I can't stop playing. I love making videos like these because in a way, these games that I'm addicted to have become a mini series on their own. But in another way, it's because this is my way of highlighting these games that really stand out to me on the console. Even though you can play it everywhere, yes, but it's even more dangerous on the Switch because the Switch can go everywhere with you, which makes the addiction that much more addicting. <laughs> So, uh, today's constantly compelling, compulsively habit-forming, addicting-causing game of choice is... <sighs> okay. which makes the addiction that much more addicting. So today's, why do I feel like I've done this already? Today's compelling, compulsive, habit-forming, addicting game of choice is, uh... is Hades. <laughs> I'm stuck in a loop. Hades! It's a brilliant game! Where you play as Hades' son, 
Zagoras, doing his best to escape hell by battling through the several flaws within the underworld. At times aided by gifts bestowed upon him from the Greek deities, the Olympians. However, the nightmarish underworld is filled with terrifying creatures, monsters, and brutal boss battles. The likelihood of survival is minimal, with the chances of an unexpected demise around every corner. Okay. Hell is unforgiving, sending you straight back to the start of the game to try again. As you reawaken in the bath of demonic blood, you'll have some time before setting out on your next run to explore the underworld and converse with its inhabitants. This is where much of the story will unfold in a very clever way. You see, everyone is very aware that Zagoras is repeatedly attempting to escape hell. Creators of the game Supergiant were presented with a pretty difficult challenge, as Hades is a non-linear game, but they had to write dialogue and story for the multitude of routes the player could progress in the game, and they did it so brilliantly. I was always impressed by the way the characters in the game had constant knowledge of where I had been or what weapons I was using or what characters I had met, what foes I had defeated, how many times I had failed, how many times I'd succeeded, even down to the smallest detail. The more you play through the game and the more times you try and escape hell, the more powerful you become in hopes that one day, maybe, you'll reach the surface and feel the warmth of the sun for the first time. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all just in my imagination. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I've been in the loop so long, I figured why not do something worthwhile, like get my pilot's license. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Bye! Hello! Great conversation. Every morning. Okay, fine! Fine! I'll do it! I'll finish the video! Just leave me alone! So Hades! Oh, what a fun game! I can't stop playing when I'm not dying all the time! Is it hot for anyone else? As much as I love the storytelling, with the story unfolding the more you die, relatable. <laughs> Almost. Still, I have to say, best part about the game is the gameplay. Hands down, no question. Before each run, you select what weapon you want to use that go round. Each has its own unique way of attacking, special attacks, and upgraded boons. Once you begin a run, one of the Olympian gods will provide you a gift at random. How nice of them. For example, Zeus will provide lightning damage effects, whereas Aphrodite will provide spells that will weaken enemy attacks. Games are fun. The gifts you are offered will change depending on the weapon you have too. Then, after you clear a room, you'll be provided with a choice of rewards from the next room. I have said this so many times. Is anybody even listening? This is happening. Well, let me guess. The next part goes like this. The exhilarating fun for me comes in the strategy of picking your next upgrade. Like I've had some incredible runs where I'm powered up to the nines. Here's one where I had the bow, upgraded it special to fire a volley of nine shots, but once I land one attack, those nine other shots auto lock onto the target. Like that, like that one gun in uh, Fifth Element, the movie with Bruce Willis. It's a good movie actually. I'd watch it again if I wasn't busy dying all the time. Sorry if I sound a little frustrated. And after days and hours of playing the game for the first time, hoping to even see the end boss, but never even coming close, this victory felt 
Incredible. 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 That's... I haven't said that before. I've never made it this far before. I'm still alive. I'm still alive! What was next? What was next? I can do this. I can... Ah! 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 Ah!